Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my Christian Louboutin collection and I'm also going to try each of them on for you. As you can see here, I've stacked them up. There are six boxes and I've ordered them from oldest to newest. So I'm going to be unboxing and trying on the oldest ones first. And then on the bottom, I've already created a recent video and let's get started. And I wanted to mention I'm wearing a Givenchy suit today. And these are Alexander McQueen socks. So here is the first box. These are the first pair of Christian Louboutins that I've ever owned and I got these in Paris at the flagship store. So these are the Tassilo flats with the glitter in the front and the tassels, which is part of the model. But what's special about these is you can see the blue glitter in the front and also part of the style are the spikes in the back. These were the first pair of Christian Louboutins that I purchased in Paris in the, this was at the flagship store on Rue Saint Honoré. And these are the only pair where it's, I sized up half a size because I hadn't had much experience with these type of shoes in the past. And when I tried on a 40, I felt like they were really tight. But now that I've worn these maybe half a dozen times, they've kind of stretched out and loosened a little bit and the heel can get a little loose for me when I'm walking, especially if I'm wearing thin socks like these. So I would have preferred if I had just gotten my regular size, but like I said, I hadn't had experience prior to purchasing these pairs. So I thought I didn't want to hurt my feet too much. So I sized half, half a size up. I pretty much have reviews of all of these shoes. So I'll link either to a playlist or each of the shoes individually. So that is my first pair. And wear on this one is not too, too bad. Like I said, I've worn these half a dozen times, but usually I'm taking a taxi to the event that I'm wearing it to while I'm driving. So I try to avoid walking on the pavement too much to avoid getting the red lacquer on the bottom off. So these are in pretty good shape for having worn them, like I said, like half a dozen times. So these are the next ones I, which I got at the same exact store. These are the dandelion flats. So these are also loafers. It's, I think it's my preferred style, loafers. These are the degradé or the ombre effect. When I went there and it was when I, I had class in France, I just knew right away that these were the ones I wanted. I tried them on just to double check that they fit and I purchased them. So it was a pretty quick experience. Waiting in line was actually longer than purchasing these. And these, I did learn from the shoes that I showed you earlier, and I did choose my regular size, so these are a size 40. And these are all patent leather. So even 40, because I've worn this, I've actually only worn this once for a holiday party. I think the red is festive in the back and I've gotten quite a bit of compliments. This one doesn't have any spikes or glitter, but it's just, you can tell that it's really well crafted. And the ombre effect is super smooth. So they're very eye catching, even though I would say these are probably my simplest pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. So this one, as you can see also, there's really not much wear. And I forgot to take the material stickers off. So similarly, this one, I did have to walk a little bit outside to catch a cab, but otherwise it was, in, it was worn indoors. So still in pretty good shape. And this is the third pair. 
So these were my first lace-ups. This one I don't think I had did a video on. These are the Grego flats, I think they were called, and this is in suede. It's in the navy blue suede. So this one is pretty simple. There's some stitching details. And laces are definitely harder to get on. These are size 40. It's a pretty dark blue. It's like an ink, ink blue. So the camera may be coming off a little bit more black. And these are the first pair that don't have patent leather. So they're actually pretty comfortable because the leather is much thinner and much more pliable. And this pair I did wear to work a few times. So when I take them off, you'll see that the soles, this one by far has the most wear because walking to and from the parking garage is a bit rough. It's pretty worn and also the heels, these two parts right here tend to be worn the most. This is now my fourth pair. You can actually see the top of the boxes now. This one I featured in a few Instagram posts, I think. And I actually forgot to put the shoe trees away. That's because I wore this, I wore this from making this video. I think I wore this like one and a half months ago. So that's why I still have the shoe tree in there to just help retain its shape because this one I did wear to an event. I've worn this to a couple events, I think, so two times. So the ones with the laces are always the tougher ones to get on because it's tighter in front. So these are the Gregosic flats and they have the spikes down the middle. What's interesting about this is I think it comes with three sizes of spikes. So on the sides, on both sides it's smaller and then in the middle there's one really tall almost like a mohawk spike and then beside that has the regular sized spikes so it creates some depth and dimension as you walk around in these these are by far the hardest to get on and off because of the leather. This is like half leather. And this pair, like I said, I've worn a couple of times. I did have to walk outside a little bit, but I didn't wear, I've never worn these to work. So as you can see, it doesn't have nearly as much wear as the previous one that I showed you. This is the second to last one, the penultimate. These are my first that come with the white dust bags. All the ones I showed you Prior to this one came with the red dust bags and there's a reason why this is the white dust bag. This is my first pair of non lacquer bottoms. So these are like you can say sneakers. They have full rubber soles. These are my first pair of the non stacked leather soles. These are rubber soles. These are the roller boats. This is, I think it called, they called it like a carmine red color. It's, it's like a deep red. This one I also got in Paris. The, the one I showed before this one, I got in the States. So these I've never worn with a suit. I've always worn these either with shorts or with jeans but I just figured in this video, the suit just matches most of the styles. This is my only pair that has spikes all the way around. And I think this was, this might have been the most expensive pair, even though it doesn't have the stacked leather soles because it had the spikes all the way around the shoes. But what's great about the rubber soles is when I take them off, You'll see, this one I think I may have worn second to most. So there's no lacquer to chip off, it's just rubber sole. And it's just a little bit dusty now, but 
once I clean it, it'll pretty much be as good as new. I've probably worn this also maybe a half a dozen times. And finally, this is my last pair, which I had unboxed most recently. These are also a first for me. These are my first pair of Christian Louboutin boots. The sole is also different on these. They are rubber, but they feature the newer design, which has the, the squares or diamonds, as well as the rope, kind of like a chain pattern on the edges. These are the Melon Spikes boots. These are Chelsea style boots. So they just have the spikes in the front, similar to the Gergosic flat, except for these, the spikes are all the same height. These I could see wearing with a suit. I haven't had the chance to wear these out yet, but I think these would look good both casual and dressy. And these are surprisingly really comfortable because I thought boots would, would probably be the least comfortable, but because of the rubber soles and the leather on top is butter soft, it's, it's, yeah, it's really comfortable. I can totally see myself wearing these all day long without having really any issues. And plus with the rubber soles, I wouldn't be afraid of walking outside in these as well. Of course, the elastic on the side, which is signature of Chelsea boots, definitely helps that as well. I sort of have my eye on a couple of new ones, but I kind of want to maybe wear this one first because I made a video about unworn luxury shoes and I've actually done a pretty good job with Christian Louboutins because I've worn all of them. I, except for this one just because I just got this. Like even from this video, I got them less than a month and it's been snowing here pretty bad. So it just doesn't make sense to wear this in the snow and have like the salt and dirt get stuck in the spikes. Because that actually happened once when I wore the Gregosic flats to a party. It ended up like sleeting when I came home and I had to spend a lot of time cleaning the ice out of the spikes because I wanted to make sure there's no dirt or salt from the roads on it because that will definitely ruin the leather. Since I haven't worn these out yet, the soles are perfectly intact. There's no dirt or anything on them. And that is my Christian Louboutin collection so far. As you can see, there are six pairs of shoes from the oldest here to the newest back here, which are my boots. And you can tell the color story is consistent through my collection. These are the most, these are the oldest pair. These are the first that I've ever gotten. The Tassilo flats with the glitter effect. And then my most recent are these boots with the spikes in the front and the new rubber sole. You can see it's either navies, really dark blues, black, or red here, like, and darker reds. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. And I'll be interested to hear if you had a favorite pair from the six here. All right, I'll hope to see you in my next video.